All right, this time we we'll learn how to connect to Bluetooth devices via the command line and interact with you know different devices, whatever. So, how do you do this here? Um, obviously, you need a Bluetooth device if you didn't know that already, uh, like a Bluetooth dongle or something like that. A couple bucks, like five or ten bucks or whatever, and you know, plug that into your desktop or laptop if your laptop doesn't have a built in uh, Bluetooth. Uh, next thing is you need to enable the Bluetooth if you didn't do so already. If you're doing this on um, system D, it'll be sudo system ctl and you do enable, right? And then you just type in Bluetooth. I think that's how it is, right? Type that sucker in. Now, if you don't want to do like a reboot to whatever, you can do um, sudo system ctl. Uh, you can do start, but let's say if you already have it running, you can do a restart. How about that? Bluetooth, right? Something like that, and I'll actually enable your uh, Bluetooth, and I'll run the daemon. Uh, if you want to check your status of that, you do system CTL status Bluetooth. Spell it correctly. Then you can see that um, our service here, our Bluetooth service, aka our daemon here, right? Uh, it's running fine. You can see it says active and running. So that's how you, you know, check your status there. Next thing, this is the command that we're actually going to use. It's called Bluetooth CTL, all right? Uh, in here, well, by default, it already uh, was that detected our devices that we're going to use. So I have a Launch Attack K10 keyboard, and also have this Interplex um, speaker, portable speaker that I have for Bluetooth. Um, if you want to get more help, you can type in help here. And basically, this is kind of like the man page that you can do all these uh, commands here on the side here, right? These are all your commands you can do. And I'll tell you like what it is here if you want to read up on it. Not that hard. So the one that we're going to focus on is the first thing you always want to do in here is power on. Right, the controller, aka your, you know, your Bluetooth stuff. Uh, the next thing is you want to use device, so you can list out your device. Um, if it doesn't detect already, then you can also do a scan. Or if you want to put this on on discovery mode, you can do discovery. Um, what else is there? What the hell? Oh yeah, you can do a. What was that pair? If you want to pair the device. And trust it. So the difference between pair is that pair is for devices that you can actually type in the code. You know, like uh, you connect your smartphone or something like that. You type in the pin code and shit like that, right? But on a device like a uh, was that like a portable speaker or a keyboard or something like that, you might not have that option to type in the pin code. And that's where trust comes in. And this one will say trust it and it will bypass the pin part. So we might have to do that here for our speaker here, right? Uh, and after that, you do a connect, and, and that's pretty much it. So let me show you that in real time here, how to do this stupid thing. Um, first of all, we do power on, right? Let's say succeeded. Uh, next thing is we'll list out devices. Uh, right now, the, the other one's not showing up, but let me uh, turn on my portable speaker here. There we go. Does it work now? Oh, there you go. It connects. Uh, it, it automatically detects it. But if it didn't, then you have to type in scan on, and it'll try to scan the thing, all right? But mine's already uh, detected, so we don't want to do it, you know. So let's type out devices here. We'll list out devices, and now you can see that it has interplex here. Now, like I said, if uh, you are doing this like on a device that has like an interface to type in your pin code or whatever. Then you would use like pair and then uh, type in the um, the address. It looks like a MAC address, but that's the address here. And you just type that and it will pair it, right? Although there's no interface, like I said, that's why it has this error, right? But like I said, if you're on a smartphone or something like that, then it'll actually give you the pin code. So we're going to bypass that. We're not going to do any fucking pairing. We're just going to do trust and we're going to use the same um, address here. And now it says trust succeeded, and that's it, right? 
now we connect to it. So we do connect and we'll use the same, um, you know, address for that one. Attempting to connect. And there it goes. It says successful. And that's it. That's how you would, you know, connect or aka pair with your device. And this works with uh, the, my keyboard also, which I had an issue. That's the reason why I learned the command line way because the fucking GUI way wasn't working. I mean, it was working like fine before, but I'm not sure what happened. Uh, I rebooted my computer and I I'm not sure what happened, like I said, but it doesn't work the way that it used to be. So that's why I have to use this. And that's pretty much it, how you would pair to a device. Uh, I mean, you can do other stuff in here if you type out the help. I do have other stuff you can do in here. But as far as repairing uh, and, uh, and all that, that's all you gotta do. And if you wanna get out of here, all you do is type in quit. And that is it, really. If you want to write a good script for this, because I had to do that for my keyboard, um, my Logitech K10 keyboard. This is how you would do it here, real simple. Let's go to my script. Uh, basically, what the hell is that? Logitech, can connect. Okay, there you go. Basically, you type in, you know, bin bash uh, as the header or whatever. And we do an echo, and we do a dash E, and we do a power on like we did before. Uh, slash N for new line. Basically, you're hitting enter, right? So power on enter uh, we do a connect now and um, we have our Mac address or not Mac address or add our device address and then after that we just you know hit enter and we quit and that's it pretty easy uh, and then we type in the pipe and we pipe it to our command that uh, we used it right so that's how my script works here that I got from someone on the internet that's did this already uh, but basically after you have your script make sure you do uh, you know ch mod and all that so you do a ch mod um, what is that plus x plus x this logitech to make it executable right after that uh, what I did was uh, I created a shortcut and this is my shortcut here it looks like a Bluetooth icon but in here let me go to properties here it's just a script that points to, or a, a launcher that, sh that points to the, you know, our shell script here. And if I ever uh, disconnect from my keyboard, so for example, let me turn off my, my keyboard here. So right now, if I try to type anything, it doesn't really work, right? But if I uh, set my keyboard to discovery mode, and I hit this button here, I'll launch the thing. And there you go. Now I have my uh, keyboard back up and working. So that's how you would create a custom script to use the Bluetooth CTL um, and it'll connect it. Uh, so that's pretty much it for connecting to Bluetooth via the command line. And you can do that you know, with a script if you want, or you can do it interactively with the command from the terminal. Anyways, that'll be it for this one.